Uh, hi, I'm Mitch Kapoor. What excites you about current metaverse technology? What's exciting is the inflow of uh, creativity and innovation on the part of participants uh, who are creating new things, creating new businesses, inventing things that haven't been invented before, all in a virtual kind of way. What concerns you about current metaverse technology? Well, it's still extremely early in the technology maturation cycle, so that there are lots of capabilities that don't work well as they should or aren't there yet, and it's not standardized and fully open, and I worry about kind of premature closure what would be the most surprising impact of metaverse technology on society within the next decade? Well, I think it will become profoundly ordinary to spend a good portion of the day in some type of virtual world or metaverse. In the same way that, say, use of the web went from weird and radical in 1994 to ordinary to be on a website, we're just going to see the same thing happen again, only people don't really feel that yet. What barriers will metaverse technology never overcome? Well, you know, I think that there is still something about being in the live presence of another human being that we will simulate and get closer to, but we're still going to want to sort of touch skin to skin sometime, haptic technology notwithstanding.